What's good family, it's your boy CK here and this is my first vlog on this channel. What's good, my Knicks crew, my CK2K crew. For those who do not know, I am on my way. I'm about to be, what I just trip on? I'm about to be on my way to Vegas to catch the Summer League. Not the whole thing, just the first weekend. And you know the Knicks play two games. We got the Hawks and then we got the, uh, no idea what we play on Sunday. Completely forgot. Don't have to schedule it from my face. But right now, I am packed. I'm getting ready to go. I'm going to pick up some of my homies that y'all going to meet on this vlog. Uh, Dizzy and uh, my homie B-War. You're going to meet them short, soon enough, so don't worry about that. So before we get into this video, two quick announcements. Announcement number one, you guys are blowing up the comment section in the last video. I know I have not replied to any of them. I will be getting through those as soon as this video goes up. I will slowly be responding to you guys. Don't think I don't see you and don't think I forgot about y'all. Number two, after the debut of our amazing rookie mr. Kevin Knox I have a new design that is going up for limited time I'm still working on a bunch of new designs and fun stuff that I want to you know start giving out merch with that being said your boy has got some merch you don't have to get it you don't I'm not gonna sit here and be Logan Paul tell y'all get the hottest merch in the game look I'm just saying if you are a Knicks fan you love my content you want to support your boy there are two designs that are gonna be up for limited time just I'm just testing it out I want to see how they look i got the new york knox instead of you know new york knicks kevin not uh it's, it's kind of lit. I got New York Knox and I got your boy CK2K uh, merch so you guys can get it on your phones. You guys can get it. If you just want a sticker, you can get a sticker. But go and check it out if you guys are into that. You guys want to support your boy. I will be posting a lot more stuff. But right now, those are the two designs. I would appreciate you guys' support. And if you can't do it, don't even worry about it. I'm not going to be here trying to sell y'all with that stuff. So just go check it out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you picked it up, I would love to see y'all pictures with you guys wearing it whenever you guys get it on Twitter or on Instagram wherever you guys decide to send it all right now let's get into the video your boy was in vegas and we were able to see a lot of basketball but the basketball i cared the most about y'all know so we're gonna start off with day one are we are we block exception right now no all right we've officially arrived and it is 185 degrees out here not really but it, it's hot as hell a lot of excitement a lot of great stuff and you know a lot of a lot of fun things came into it um i, I have so much footage and it's all over the place so i'm gonna be throwing y'all back and forth to it and i hope you guys enjoy the experience as soon as we go to get the tickets my guy already giving me flack about us possibly getting damian lillard we're not getting damian lillard we don't have anything to get damian lillard trade for zingas this is why I don't bring these kind of people with me to these places. So day one was the Knicks versus the Atlanta Hawks. Trey Young versus Frankie. We're seeing Kevin Knox make his debut. We're seeing Mitch. Now a lot of great things came out of this game. We saw Kevin Knox's first bucket. Nope. Three into the summer league lineup tonight is Knox with a filthy dunk getting them on their feet here in Vegas. It was a lot of good stuff. Here's some footage I got from that first game. Now, mind you, day two, the Knicks did play the Utah Jazz without Grayson Allen on the court. And Utah, the Utah Jazz uh, Summer League team looked a lot like the Utah Jazz NBA regular team. They just score buckets the smart way efficiently they don't need the highlights they just need the ball to go in the hoop anytime they get the ball and they did that very well but the Knicks did a great job playing defense in the second half and being able to give us a shot to win this game but this game had a lot of great moments a lot of great highlights all right so we were planning on winning the next game but we're gonna go in and we're gonna watch Trey Young lose again this is day two I'm excited I wish we could stay whole week next week next year man that's the goal we're gonna be media passes we're gonna be in there watching all the games for the finals and all that stuff it's gonna be lit but uh, yeah, so we're I gonna watch some of these games. One question. What's up? Have they eaten a whole pineapple before with the bark and and the the uh, the grass? Stop calling the it's it's the tree bark. Boy, if you don't get.
Now, can we take a second to talk about my guy, Aggressive Frank, the new Frank, Frank 2.0, Fizzdale Frank. Hello, Frankie. Yes, sir, defense. Let's go. When he started, I, you could tell Frank was aggressive, but he wasn't forcing it. And if we can get this Frank consistently, Oh my gosh. You know I say it every video. I've been talking about it since we got, I, you gotta trust the process with this kid because the potential is oozing out of him. Do Frankie, Frankie baby. Nina. I've also learned that there are a lot of it's impatient Knicks fans, especially in that building, and I'm seeing it more on Twitter, especially with Kevin Knox and, and Frank Nielakina. Stop that. Frank Nielakina is going to be a stud for this team, and he is so young, and he's already advancing and showing such a, a mature mind at this age. I'm so excited to see what he turns into in the future, but I'm talking too much. So here's some highlights from the game that we watched here. Go to work. Brandon Sharp, oh, pass it. Oh, look at the moves! Danny Low Tempu with the look. <laughs> now my homie Brandon, he's the light-skinned Kevin Knox looking dude. He was a fan of Ochefu. Oh. That's right. Get that out! <laughs> <laughs> Ochefu was, he, he made some dumb plays, but the man was aggressive on defense and Brandon was eating it up. It was hilarious. <laughs> Diamond Stone. Bet you can't make two. Look at who's gonna stop doing. Say his name. Oh, Chefu. Oh, give, give him his ovation. Hey, hey. 26 Mitchell Robinson checks in the New York lineup. Best believe this, he's the reason why y'all win today. Yep. Brandon swears that we should trade Chris Asperzingis for uh, Ochefu. On the spot. Why? Why would you do it now? Waste yeah. Time. Yeah. Greatest player of all time. I need a new seat. So all in all, basically with the second game for me, and I tweeted it, the biggest thing was, and I, I love the aggression, I love that he's trying, but Alonzo, he was just trying too hard. Nope. Nope. He does that and has nothing to go to. I don't like him in the point. He d He's not a point guard. Nope. The kid, he takes a billion dribbles before the idea of passing the ball even comes into his head. And again, I'm excited to see him turn into a player. I want him, but I want him to focus on being a scorer. That's who he is. I get the, the experiment trying him at the point because of his size, but I no, no, no. Absolutely love what I saw from Kevin Knox. Kevin Knox showed both days that he he can be a serious contender to be a rookie of the year this season. But I'm going to make my case the entire season, but we have to see how he plays in the regular season. But the most important thing of this entire game, win or lose, what I love the most was Frank Nielakina's aggression. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's on notice. Well, except, well, I take that back. The people that know basketball are talking about it, and the people that know basketball are acknowledging it. The other Knicks fans that are still on the, we should the gut Dennis Smith Jr. Ben White. Y'all, y'all can miss me with that. After the game was done, uh, this was probably my favorite moment of the entire weekend, and I'm very upset that I didn't get it on film. But what I did get uh captured on camera was me walking up to them. So here I am walking down, we're all exiting the building, but right in the front row, you can see it's the pretty it's pretty much the entire Knicks brain trust. It's uh David Fisdale, it's Scott Perry, uh Tim Hardaway Jr. was there, Ron Baker was there, my man Trey Burke was there. A lot of them were all right there in the front row and I was walking up and I'm just like hey let me capture them on camera and then right when I got the camera off because we started again the crowd um we stopped and to my right was Fizdale. Fizdale and Scott Perry were right there. And Fizdale had called over. I, I don't know. It, I don't. It was definitely not wife. We all know how wife is. And if it was wife, yeah. <laughs> but I think it was either his mom or a, 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 or a family friend or something like that. But he called her over, and she crossed in front of me. And um, because I had stopped to let her go through. So then uh, she went over and she started talking to some 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 guy that was next. To, it was it wasn't a player or anything. He had to be like man, I don't know. He had to be a man or something. I don't know who he was. But he while they were talking, uh, Fizdale. It was there he was chilling he was what he was looking and i thought to myself i'm like you know what i'm right here let me say what's up to my new coach so i go over and i go to him i just say hey fizz very excited to have you on the team 
big fan of you. My man smiled, dapped me up, said much appreciated. Glad to have your support. So how you enjoying the summer league? And then I had a brief conversation. And right when I was in the middle of answering, Scott Perry came over. That's right. Lando Smooth Voice. Scott Perry walks over, says something to um, David Fisdale, notices that he was having a conversation with me, shakes my hand and said, nice to meet you. Glad that you're on our side. I was done. I just wanted to shake his hand. I said, cool. I smiled. And then they pushed on. They went about the way because whatever it was was important and they had to go. But the fact that I got to dap <laughs> David Fisdale and shake his hand, that, that I, I know it's on camera. I know I didn't get a picture, um, but th th that's a memory. And that's a moment for me. I'm very excited about. Okay, I geeked a little bit. All right, I geeked a little bit. I didn't get it on camera, but I got my dap by David Fisdale and Trey Burke. You know, it was really cool. I just in passing just said, what's up? Said I'm a huge fan and they both, you know, it was cool. Smiles and, you know, didn't get to film it, but man, I'm shaking. I'm happy, man. It was cool. It was cool. Bad game by the next stop. Then after that, walked up and Trey Burke was there, said big fan, dapped him up too. And that was pretty cool. That was a nice bonus. But that was the, probably the coolest moment for me the entire weekend. Did not get it on camera. I apologize. I didn't expect for it to happen. I Like I said, in this clip right here, you see me walking down the stairs. When we got into the crowd, I thought I was just going to push through and I didn't have a good angle to record anything when I got down so when it happened it just happened spur of the moment and I, I didn't think about filming and stuff and I'm also not a dude that wants to take pictures with I, I just I've never been that guy but overall this weekend was a great fun experience got to see some Lakers stuff got to see a lot of these these younger players play this season and no it's probably not a, as strong as a, of a class as it was last year the marquee guys the one through ten picks I think they're all going to be solid. Wendell Carter Jr. Now, I know a lot of you guys are fans. You guys wanted us to pick him up. I hope you realize that we got the right guy. Kevin Knox is going to be a beast. The key. Through the defense and the stuff. But Wendell Carter Jr., the, the, we, I watched the Bulls twice this entire weekend, and that guy is a stud that man is a man amongst boys and the the, the bulls got a dude and I'm, I'm that's gonna be great to see but that's just my opinion man I, this isn't quite the vlog i wanted it to be it's very all over the place i was throwing footage and going back and forth but i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know your thoughts on the summer league and what you saw from our guys and if you're excited and let me know again i'm gonna keep bringing it up every time i see him shine let me know if you was a person that booed kevin knox i want to know if you booed kevin knox be honest in the comments below all right much love to you guys remember check out the merch if you guys want to support get the new york knox shirt if you want to support your boy if you just want to you know get a sticker you want to get a cool little cheap shirt there are very nice designs you don't have to get a cheap shirt there are options to get you know better quality shirts but if you don't want to go that round that's fine Hit me on my socials, comment below. I'll see y'all. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Let's get it. <laughs>